The difference between a murky player and a hammer player is at least the murky knows he's an asshole. What happens when you take the rules and expectations for heroes in this game, flip them on their head, and then remove all consequences? Everything smells like fish. Murky is one of the most unique and frustrating heroes in the game. He doesn't play like a normal hero. You won't win in a straight-up fight, so don't fight fair. Always remember that as a murky player, you're worthless. You're worth less than a minion wave. You're worth less than some cooldowns. You're worth less than the time it takes to walk across the map and slap you. But in weakness lies strength. Because of how small the returns are for dealing with him, you can put yourself in positions where, no matter what, you win. Someone has to deal with Murky. Left alone, he'll wreck your house faster than a coked-up toddler. No amount of babysitting will prevent a mess. The question isn't, will Murky take a fort? It's, when will Murky take a fort? He clears minion waves incredibly fast and doesn't really need to dodge ganks, so you can start pressuring enemy structures as soon as the game starts. If you die, who cares? You drop a pitiful amount of experience and you respond quickly and closely. So long as the enemy doesn't find your egg, you'll be alive in 8 seconds and back to what you were doing in 8 more. That is not enough time for your killers to rotate back to the fight, or get to a camp, or get anywhere important. Doing your job well means consistently forcing enemies out of position, but people won't see the value in what you're doing because foresight might as well be magic, and they get upset when Pavlov rings his bell. The biggest problem when playing Murky is that you will always be playing a Murky game, while your team might be hoping for something more conventional. Expectations need to be changed and playstyles have to shift to accommodate the fish. Good fucking luck doing that in solo queue. What's a Murky game like, anyway? You're an annoying little fish and you have to stick to your shtick all game, committing to Murky's particular playstyle even while the world burns around you. Now, I'll be the first to admit that if you're playing single player hots, you're a problem. It's simply true that Heroes of the Storm heavily favors the team that works together. Unfortunately, Murky bends this rule because he's really damn good at what he does. So his teammates must adapt and capitalize on how much of the enemy's time Murky is wasting. Try telling that to someone who just wants to push buttons and feel cool. Obviously, Murky needs to show up to some objectives, but if you think this child is gonna swing the fight, I, I got a buddy in West Africa that can use your help. Murky is at best a distraction in early game fights. If your team can hold it together for like, for like five minutes and let the boy do his thing. You will scale so hard the game is over in 10. That's why he's such a troll pick. You do what you want and to hell with the rest, and if you lose, well, I'm playing Murky. The game has been out for almost a decade and by now you assholes should know how to play with me. He's one of those heroes that gets you yelled at a lot, but who cares? You're murky. Just keep doing fish things and hope the dying stops. Slime is a spammable ability that does damage in an area around murky and slows enemies hit by 20% for 6 seconds. Because the cooldown is 4 seconds, this means as long as you're able to stay close to someone and stay alive, murky can perma-slow enemies with his boogers. Slimed enemies take bonus damage when slimed again, if you needed any more reason to stay away from the fish. Big, telegraphed, destroyable damage. The pufferfish deletes minion waves and chunks anyone foolish or unfortunate enough to be caught in its explosion. It's fairly easy to counter as it has low hit points and a long fuse, but this is bait. Turn your weakness into a strength. Make people choose Murky or the Puffer. The Puffer or Murky. No matter what, Murky wins. Safety Bubble is what you use to waste an extra two seconds of someone's time before you die. It makes Murky completely invulnerable while still being able to move. Great for baiting high value, long cooldown skills like ultimates. Why are you ulting the fish? Or cucking someone out of an easy kill. Like the Pufferfish, everyone knows you have the bubble, but they don't know when you're going to use it. This can prevent people from using high damage abilities that will burst Murky down, wasting that much more time. The bubble cannot be cancelled early, so know that when you use it, you'll be unable to do anything but move for its duration. Egg. Choose your spawn point. Hide it well. If it dies, then run like hell. March of the Murlocs. What's scarier? One fish? Or 36 invulnerable fishes over 6.75 seconds? Great for zoning, this ult summons an army of Murlocs that stick to the first hero or structure they come in contact with, dealing damage over time and slowing their target by 15% for 5 seconds. March can be strong in a lot of cases, holding points and 
pushing structures, but its usefulness pales in comparison to its counterpart, Octograb. This ultimate is what turns Murky from a joke into a very serious, very real threat. A point-and-click stun that can last up to three seconds on a 50-second cooldown, yeesh. Long enough to eat up Murky's whole combo. Long enough for low-reaction time gamers to follow up. Long enough to let you wonder why you still play HOTS. While Murky is unstoppable for the duration of the ability, he's otherwise completely vulnerable and killing him will end the stun. Still, this ult is easy to apply and comes out quickly, so don't hesitate to add people to your hentai reel. Murky commands the attention of his enemies. He's a master baiter. An unchecked Murky will run rampant, skewing the game in levels and lane pressure, but overcommitting to stopping him is playing right into his flippers. This hero has been scientifically designed to be as obnoxious as possible. Even if you manage to get your hands around his slippery little neck, he'll be back in a heartbeat because consequences just aren't a thing to the fish. Murky effectively puts the game on a timer, and if you don't win first, guess who does? It's Murky. Murky wins. He wins when he's alone. He wins when you fight him. He wins while he lives. He wins when he dies. Even in victory, you'll end the game so exhausted and tilted that you'll wonder if it was even worth it. Murky... always wins. Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, consider leaving a tip on Patreon or becoming a channel member. It's only with the support of people like you that I'm able to take time and make content for you to enjoy. Real talk, my target is to reach $200 a month by February, and if that happens, I can sustain the channel for a long, long time. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.